Have you ever thought to yourself that, man, I wish CP naming schemes were a little bit more confusing? Well, wait no further, because AMD has just launched a new 2023 naming scheme, and they're going to stick with it for a while. All right, so I'm going to start up with uh, the example of Ryzen 5 7640U. Right at the back, I should probably start with the first letter, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to I'm going to jump up to the suffix or the prefix, whatever it's called. So you'll know this know the story, right? If it's an HX, it's 55 watt plus for max performance. It's for gaming computers and for HS, it is drawn towards gaming computers, but it is not actually for high-end gaming computers, you're not going to be able to get the highest end FPS out of those. And the U series is for light notebooks. And the C series, that's basically used to say, it's like for Chromebooks or mobile computers. And the E series is basically for fanless computers, like a MacBook Air. That's a joke, by the way. The MacBook doesn't have any x86 chips in it. All right, so now that we have this part covered, let's start with this one. All right, so the first letter, Oh, by the way, if you guys are uh, thinking about the performance sides, these two letters, the middle two letters, are the most important for you. So the first letter indicates which year this uh, CPU is from. So if the letter says 7, which this does, 7640U, it means it's from 2023, 8 is 2024, 9 is 2025. And this actually makes more sense than these three letters because... Uh, the, the, the name scheme of 2022 was the 6000 series, so yeah, it kind of kind of makes sense. But let's jump up to the second letter, which kind of is confusing, because let's say, let's say if, if you have 5830X processor, or I, I don't really know the series, so let's say if you have a 5830, right? It could be either Ryzen 7 or 9. Yeah, Ryzen 7 or 9. It's super confusing. I mean, I get it. 1 to 7, not confusing at all. So if you have 3 or 4, that's Ryzen 3. If you have 5 or 6, that's Ryzen 5. But if you have a X7, that's Ryzen 7. But if you have a 8, 58, 30, that means it could either be Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9. You're going to have to look that up for yourself. But this is a little bit less confusing because if you have 1, that's Zen 1 or Zen Plus, 2, Zen 2, Zen 3, Zen 4, whatever it is, it, the number is going to state that. But uh, the Zen 5 has not released yet. It's an upcoming series of processors. So if this number says 5, congratulations, you have the latest and greatest thing. And this one is basically in the case that if you have a higher ed processor, it, it's not super important. So as I said, if you care about performance, this is what that matters. All right, so let's say if I replace this number with eight and the rest of the things stay the same, the performance is not gonna be dramatically different because it's built in the same architecture and it's from the same series, but the year, uh, the model year is gonna be different. So AMD says they did this so that customers could make uh, educated guess about what this uh, CPU, what year the CPU is from. I mean, I get the point, but yeah. So this is the entire naming scheme of 2023. I hope you understood everything and thank you for watching.